So here's home for me. We're a large hospital in a very rural area. There are about uh, 6,000 people that live in Danville, Pennsylvania. 20,000 people work within the Geisinger system, which is uh, regional across the, the rural center part of Pennsylvania. We are very busy, just like everybody is. We're busier than we want to be. And so in a way, using informatics tools to, to do good quality control is becoming a survival exercise. So in our regional system, we are expanding. We have uh, 10 what we call cluster labs or hospital labs that uh, are on information systems doing sigma analysis and five have joined us in the next year or two, we're gonna be bringing them on. So uh, I, I think the informatics tools that, that we're all benefiting from and learning more and more about are gonna be a predominant way of doing quality control in the future. So it's important to know the sound statistical foundation for what we're doing rather than just uh, uh, punching buttons and having yes, no show up on a screen whether a run's acceptable or not. We have to design from the bottom up using what was just described as a basis for making our quality control. So this, this is typical now for large regional healthcare systems. On the lower left you see rows of virtual servers in a data center on a network. Uh, this, this is uh, not unique in Danville, this is uh, becoming more and more common. So we have 28 virtual servers in our data center, including data innovation that captures information off of our instrument interfaces, puts them through uh, data innovation and into BioRAD for aggregating the quality control statistics. So I'm gonna be describing how we've leveraged these informatics tools to do sigma analysis. All readily available, not hugely expensive, you know, as far as healthcare goes, not like having to go out and buy a hundred or $200,000 instrument. These are uh, much more affordable. And again, the, the basis of what we do. So our, our motivation for bringing together quality control in an informatics way was first of all to standardize QC policy. We have all these sites across the center of Pennsylvania and more in the works. We, from a regulatory standpoint, wanna have good sound quality control practices, have them documented, have a document control system, show the regulators how we practice quality control. And to do it uniformly in a standardized way across our enterprise. Uh, we are inspected by CAP as a system we have uh, now 11 labs. We had a recent CAP inspection and they went to each one and looked at our QC practices. We also have harmonized and standardized our analytical platforms. That's important. If you're going to have uh, a, a common quality control system, it, you should be as harmonized as you can be with the instrumentation and the interfaces and the IT. And even more importantly, we are busier than we want to be. And so I said, as I said, it's almost a survival uh, tool to create lean operations so that operators at high throughput workstations are able to get their quality control done in a very efficient way. And they're not laboring over it and doing too much clerical work. So these were, some of the, the two driving things that got us together as a system, we got uh, supervisors, technical specialists, IT people in a room and developed this strategy that uh, really broadened to more than just QC. It also impacted auto verification. 